Electronic Superjoy is a platformer with seizure-inducing aesthetics and an irrepressibly energetic club soundtrack, wherein you attempt to avenge your recently annihilated buttocks by murdering the evil wizard responsible. It's brought to you by Michael Todd, and my experience of it has been largely positive. I should first point out that the game is currently in beta phase, though you can purchase it from the Steam store and receive early access. ESJ's obvious strength is the frantic and absorbing audiovisual experience that it provides, but it also tries to flesh itself out by shaking up the gameplay every so often. At some points you'll have a smash attack, at others a double jump, and there's also that one bit where you have a spaceship fight with a Pope. So all in all, I very much like the look and feel of this game, which is particularly impressive given my disposition towards platforming in general. Although it became clear upon the introduction of the guided missiles that me and this game were only going to get along so well. What confused me about this game was its attitude towards pacing. It creates a very energetic atmosphere and manages a slick integration of NPC storytelling as you gleefully breeze through the first few levels, and then slows everything to a grinding halt with sparse checkpoints and Meat Boy-esque levels of difficulty. By this point the music and lighting exist more to amplify the fleeting moments of catharsis that you get from finally reaching the next checkpoint, and to hold your attention enough to stop you quitting during the prolonged intervening spells. There are a couple of bugs, like the Pope suddenly relenting in his attack and FPS drops after so many deaths on certain levels. I tested the latter on two very capable machines and it still persisted, apparently making this game an especially rigorous benchmarking tool. The death statistic for most levels remains rather sycophantically at zero after completion, and I'd recommend an option to toggle the respawn animation as well. It is possible to skip it, but after failing near the end of a particularly long and complex platforming sequence, my gamepad tends to be busy having an unfortunate accident. Ultimately that doesn't bother me though. This game is a beta after all. What annoys me is when a platformer feels the need to justify itself by ramping up the frustration its level design provides to an extreme degree, even if it has something unique and cool that would have made it more enjoyable on its own anyway, which is what Electronic Superjoy has, and what Thomas was alone proved to be a perfectly viable strategy for platformers. I've probably been unduly harsh to this particular title though, and I would still very much recommend that you have a look yourselves if you're a fan of platformers like Super Meat Boy.